Our Gang, also known as The Little Rascals, was a classic American series of comedy short films. It chronicled a group of poor neighborhood kids and their adventures. It was created by a studio executive, Hal Roach, who was also the man behind Laurel and Hardy. The series ran from 1922 to 1944 and made the transition from silent films to talkies. The children were all showcased behaving in a relatively natural way. Over the years, the show has remained popular and several newer creations were made. But some strange things have happened to some of the former kids who have appeared on the show. Some say it was a curse, while others say it happens to everyone in society. Today we will take a look at some of the former child stars, and I will leave it up to you to decide whether or not they were actually cursed. Carl Alfalfa Switzer Alfalfa was one of the most popular and best remembered characters in the series. When Carl grew older, he found it difficult to land new roles. However, he was able to play bit parts in films like It's a Wonderful Life and The Defiant Ones. In between acting gigs, he supported himself as a bartender, dog trainer, and hunting guide. Carl was shot to death in 1959 following a dispute over $50. He was 31 years old. Carl's older brother, Harold Switzer, also appeared in the series. However, he was more or less just a background actor. In April of 1967, he murdered a customer in a heated dispute and then committed suicide at the age of 42. Robert Weezer Hitchens Robert was an aviation cadet in the Army Air Corps. He was killed during his final training exercise when two aircraft collided. He was 20 years old. Matthew Stymie Beard Matthew was one of the many actors from the show that struggled after growing up. He was a high school dropout and had an addiction to drugs which drove him to commit crimes. However, he was able to kick that addiction by the 1970s. He was able to land small roles in movies and TV shows like Good Times and Sanford and Son as well as commercials. Sadly, in 1981, he had a stroke with some injuries in which he had to be hospitalized. He died at the age of 56. Darla Jean Hood played the sweetheart in the series. She is one of the few who carried on with success after the show. She was a singer and continued acting in a few movies. She was also a regular in radio and television shows as well as some popular commercials. Darla had an appendectomy and contracted hepatitis from a blood transfusion, and she died in 1979 at the age of 47. Norman Chubby Cheney Norman's weight was due to a glandular problem. After leaving the show, he continued to gain weight, and at the age of 17, he was more than 300 pounds. In 1935, he had a surgery to treat this condition. His weight dropped to about 136 pounds, but he never recovered. He passed away in 1936 at the age of 18 years old. Scotty Beckett Scotty was the kid who wore a baseball cap sideways and an oversized sweater. Following the show, he had trouble landing roles and he struggled to adjust to life outside of the show business. He had two failed marriages and a series of dead-end jobs and numerous brushes with the law. Drugs and alcohol also became an issue for him. In 1968, he checked into the Hollywood Nursing Home for treatment of injuries sustained in a beating. Two days later, he was found dead. Investigators found a bottle of sleeping pills and a note beside his bed. However, an autopsy ruled that the cause of his death was inconclusive. He was 38 years old. William Buckwheat Thomas Buckwheat was certainly one of the most remembered characters of the series. He was offered many roles in film and stage, but had no desire to continue with the hassle of performing, as he put it. However, he did continue on in the film industry. He became a film lab technician where he learned how to cut and edit film. In October of 1980, he was found dead in his bed at the age of 49. He had suffered a heart attack. 46 years to the day after his mother brought him to the Hal Roach Studios for the audition. William Froggy Laughlin William was known for his voice, which was strange and guttural. It sounded like a frog croaking. 
He died at a hospital in 1948 at the age of 16 following an accident. He was delivering newspapers on a Cushman scooter when he was struck by a speeding truck. Richard Mickey Daniels Daniels was long estranged from his wife and children. He died alone in a San Diego hotel room in 1970. His cause of death was listed as cirrhosis of the liver from his long years of battling alcoholism. When he died, he received no press coverage, which is sad considering all the years of laughter that he brought everyone. He was 55 years old when he died. His cremated remains sat unclaimed for 21 years before they were finally recovered. He is located in an unmarked grave in Forest Lawn Memorial Park, located in Los Angeles. Robert Mickey Blake His real name was Michael Gubitosi. Blake was in the series until the very end of its run. He did go on to have a successful career in Hollywood, starring in several movies and television shows. His childhood was somewhat abusive, thus the name change, and he had little to do with his family after the age of 16. In 1999, Blake's life changed drastically. He met and started dating Bonnie Lee Bakley. She had a track record of being a scam artist, pornography distributor, and a stalker of celebrities. She had been married several times in which she had taken money from her husbands. At the same time, she was also dating Christian Brando, the son of the late Marlon Brando. In 2000, she gave birth to a daughter and named her Christian Shannon Brando. However, she told them both that she wasn't sure who the father was. Blake had a DNA test done and it was revealed that the little girl was actually his. Blake married Bakley and the child's name was changed to Rose Lenore Sophia Blake. The couple lived in separate houses on the same property and Blake hired a private eye to spy on her. In May of 2001, Bakley was shot dead while sitting in Blake's car around the corner from an Italian restaurant that they had just eaten dinner at. The event was very strange and he did serve time while it went to trial. Blake was eventually acquitted on her murder due to a lack of hard evidence. Bakley's three older children sued Blake for wrongful death in 2005. The judgment of $30 million was placed against him, but he did eventually settle for quite a bit less. Robert Bone Dust Young He played a kid with a toothy grin and had a knack for getting other rascals in trouble. Following his service in the Army, he changed his screen name to Clifton Young. He then had multiple good character roles. After going through a bitter divorce, he was found killed in a Los Angeles hotel fire in 1951. That fire was started by his own cigarette when he fell asleep. He was 33 years old. J. Pinky Smith He played a freckle-faced skinny kid in this series. After the series, he did have a few other roles, but he went on to marry, have kids, and work in the retail paint business. Following the death of his wife, he eventually took in a homeless man named Charles Wayne Crombie. In October of 2002, Jay was found stabbed to death in the Las Vegas desert. He was 87 years old. Crombie was later arrested for Smith's murder and eventually admitted to the murder. Dorothy Dandridge She had a small part in the series but went on to multiple other projects and films. She went through a bad divorce during the early 1960s. At that same time, she discovered that the people who handled her finances were swindling $150,000 from her. She also found out that $140,000 were owed to back taxes. In order to make things right, she was forced to sell her Hollywood home and place her daughter in the state mental institution. At around this same time, her popularity was dwindling and she resorted to performing in nightclubs. In 1965, Dandridge was found nude and unresponsive in her apartment by her manager, Earl Mills. The pathology report stated that her cause of death was an accidental overdose of an antidepressant. However, the Los Angeles County Coroner's Office concluded that she died of a fat embolism resulting from a right foot fracture sustained five days earlier. She was 41 years old. Kendall Breezy Brisbane McComas Kendall played sort of a prankster who gets expelled. After growing up, he left show business and became an electrical engineer. 
Shortly before his 65th birthday, he was forced into retirement and committed suicide in October of 1981. Darwood Waldo Kenneth Smith Waldo was the rich kid with glasses who competed with Spanky and Alfalfa for Darla's affections. In 2002, he was on a daily walk when he was severely injured by a hit-and-run driver. The driver was never identified, but Smith died later that day, a month shy of his 55th wedding anniversary. He was 72 years old. Pete the Pup The first dog to play Pete was poisoned by an unknown assailant in 1930. There was a suspect, but nothing ever could be proven. The R Gang, or Little Rascals, will forever be remembered as one of the timeless comedy classics. It has inspired many other film works and series. But I would like to hear from you in the comments below. Was there a curse that followed these former child actors? As always, I thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.